All right, I am sat here with Vicky Phillips, uh, all the way from the Eastern Cape, and uh, you got a fighter Durant that will be fighting on tomorrow's fight, uh, fight night against uh, Don John van Heerden. Um, welcome to Johannesburg. But thank you so, so much. It's nice being here and actually meeting Gauteng boxes and seeing the way that they run their town. So that was actually very nice being here. All right, so I'm going to get your first impressions then. Um, how is it run differently? How is? Um, well, I must tell you, the promoter and Boxing SA is right on track. Like, they said it's going to start this time, and she made sure that everything starts on time, the boxes were taken care of, and that's what we like, like the no delays. Everybody yeah, they're like community. And I know we're from the Eastern Cape, but it's nice to see Gauteng coaches banding together, because that's what you want in the boxing. You want coaches to grow boxing and if we if if we don't grow together it's not going to happen a, a very important thing is also getting ahead with female boxing yeah. training as well you one of the representations of that and um, you had success so far so that's got it's got to be a great thing yeah look it's been a great thing for me um, for me it's been a lot of work proving myself as I'm a female but I'm as tough as nails. I'm as tough. I'll stand up to anybody. I don't care who you are. Um, when it comes to my fighters, boxing, anything that I believe in, I do the technical work. For me, it's important that you should not box if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and that's what we're all about. So it's been a wonderful journey. And five years later, I'm stuck here and I've got a pro boxing boxer from the Eastern Cape and he's mine. And it's nice to stand up as a female and say, I'm a pro boxing coach and... My sex does not define me. My skill, however, does. And with a pro fighter 3-0, they can say whatever they want to. That's all me. I mean, look, it's 3-0, and but also an Eastern Cape champion as well. So a provincial champion that you produced. Uh, what happens tomorrow night? Do you have the confidence that he, that he gets the best of Don John? You see, the thing with fight camps and planning is when you've got ego competition, they thrive on their ego. So that's exactly what I want because I've been planning and tracking them and yeah, I think I know Don John better than he knows himself. That's how good I planned. So I'm happy. Tomorrow night, they, you know, let's show you what the Eastern Cup can do. It's going to be a banger. So I'm guessing there's no secrets there. I mean, you're going to obviously want to keep your cards close to your chest on that regards. Um, but in a, in, a, in, a in a nutshell, how do you beat him? How do we beat him? with his own technical skill. I'm going to play his exact game plan, and that's what I do. So we're looking more at a boxing psychology here. So the thing is, he's a Southpaw fighter, which as you know, is a very difficult stance. But we've prepped and planned around that, so that doesn't bother me. We're going to use his own game plan against him, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So, yeah, I can't give too much away, but that's it. You would have seen after the weigh-in, there was a bit of an altercation here that happened with him and a former opponent. Um, did you, uh, what, did, what did you read into that? You know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, boxing is boxing. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, my man. Like, we ain't playing. We, I'm ready to go. Eastern Cape's ready to go. I'm not here to play. And whoever comes to us, we ain't backing down. Even if it's a previous altercation, that's done with. Don't bring that to the table, or else we're going to step back and be like, what's up? So, if you step to my fight, he's not backing down, and I'm not backing down. Previous situations has nothing to do with this. This is a different event, but uh, if he really has a problem, he's got my manager's number. So. Right, fantastic. And I look for the most part that you're very chilled. I mean, I did an interview with him a bit earlier. He seems to be a down-to-earth guy. Yeah, I think I'm his protector more or less. I think because Duran does not do social media. Um, yeah, Duran's silent but violent. Um, saying meaning is that he's very quiet, but deep waters, my friend. And that's how we like it. We like to not be egotistical and show off what we can do. Because at the end of the day, that's what everybody wants to see. People buy tickets for the best fighters they want the best fighters and we want to give them the best so yeah we're ready the reason i say that as well because obviously you, you mentioned eastern cape because i know you're representing the province but also port elizabeth as well um where, where you guys are based and the other big boxer that comes out of pe as of late has also been darren rousseau yep. um so you know this could be the next 
Yeah, Darren Rousseau is the first announced to run for Vogue. And there's many others coming. I've got 15 amateur boys is going pro next year. Um, the thing with boxing is you can't just push somebody into it. You need to know what you're doing. And I've been working flipping hard. So next year when I showcase my 15, you know, you guys are only seeing one now, but what you see what's coming tomorrow night, it's not just me and Durant. EC is coming and we brought EC with us. We have, <laughs> we have a lot of people coming. So, I mean, EC is representing tomorrow night. I can't wait for the fight now. It's all of a sudden it's intensified in my mind because now we're expecting a totally different version because you know, he's been flying under the radar has Durant so far, but now all of a sudden... You see, it's very important for us to fly under the radar because as much as we want the attention and we want the fights, we don't want those coaches knowing what's going on in our camp. Like, my fighters are the best because they keep it to themselves. And that, that is just the VIP way. What happens in our house, the way that we train... That is a stock standard. The way that our academy runs, we've got certain set rules. It's disciplined. It's, and that, that's exactly what I want. So although we don't, we're not loud and proud, we've got honor and loyalty. We're not loud and proud because we don't speak out of our club. And that's what a boxing club should be. If you want to go to a professional boxing club, you need somebody that has honor and trust. And if you don't have honor and trust or loyalty, shouldn't be there my friend you don't yeah okay so i'm gonna ask for a prediction for tomorrow what is the prediction <laughs> my friend prediction tomorrow i'm not leaving it to the judges my fight has one goal and one goal only knock him that's it i'm not leaving it to the judges i'm in Gauteng. we from eastern cape i'm not leaving it two points he knows i want a knockout and i want it quick and i want it hard i don't want him standing up i told durant he is not standing up. That's it. The end. That's a strong message there. I like that as well. Because obviously, you know, you're coming up against Prospect of the Year, Don John von Heeren. All the best for tomorrow night. Do you want to leave any uh, thank yous, any shout outs for anybody? I want to say thank you to the VIP house, our fighters that have been in the fight camp, the wonderful promoters with this wonderful event, Cape, which is my manager. You know, the way that the event was handled. Yeah, thank you. And Colleen? We're coming for you. I'll see you tomorrow night.